Ugh. Howdy. I know this is weird. Uh, green screen Jorge has returned. I have a green screen now, so I get to do stuff like this where I get to put myself in the background. Amazing, isn't it? Today, as you guys can see by the title, the thumbnail, and the screen all around me, we are going to be ranking, making a tier list of the Hisuian Informs and Pokemon Legends Arceus. So if you guys have yet to play the game, play it. It's amazing. I actually just beat the main story. It's really, really good. And obviously this is spoilers, so if you guys don't want to get spoiled for the new forms that are in the game, click out now or continue at your own risk. Also, I know the green screen doesn't look the best. It's because A, my webcam isn't the best, and B, I'm just doing what I can with what I have. Okay, so here we are, and there they are. All of the new forms in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We got Decidueye, we got Deflosion, we got uh, Samurott. We even got the <clears throat> very special legendary Pokemon. So uh, we'll just go one by one and I'll just give you some brief opinions on what I think of the Pokemon and uh, just overall how I guess that's really what it is. So first and foremost I guess on the list it's going to be Decidueye. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Uh, it was my starter for my adventures in uh, Hisui. Or, am I saying that right, Sui? I think so. So, I'm actually going to be putting uh, this one right, right in uh, uh, eighth here. I don't think it's my favorite design, but it's one of the, one of my more favorite ones, to be honest. And uh, I'm actually really happy how they actually were able to uh, change the forms quite a bit with, with Decidueye. Next up, we got Typhlosion. I think Typhlosion is actually really, really solid. Um, it's, it's definitely like the 420-friendly Pokemon. I know a lot of my friends absolutely love it. For me, I'm just kind of neutral for it. I've just always been neutral towards Typhlosion. If I'm going to be completely honest, I don't hate it. Not that I don't love it. It's just, you know, it, it's it's definitely there. I appreciate it existing, and I think it's a fantastic addition. Um, on the other hand, here is our next entry, which is going to be Samurott. I've actually never been a fan of Samurott, if I'm being quite honest. And I've always been a big fan of original Pokemon. Uh, my, 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 my channel mascot is a little neggy. It's a regional Pokemon. And I've actually, I've usually liked most of them. And this is the first time I actually have strong opinions against a, a form or a form I think that is lazy. And uh, Samurai, you know, while I don't hate it, I just think it's kind of meh, if I'm gonna be quite frank. I, I just, it's a form that I'm just like, okay, yeah, you're, you're definitely a water dark, dark type, I can see it. But I really don't feel any different about it. And sure, I can make the same argument with Typhlosion. But uh, with Typhlosion, I actually very much like where they went with it. So for Samurai, I'm actually going to put it in C tier. I think it's okay. Like, it's definitely the original form. Um, but there's nothing really special about it. I am low, and I don't think I see myself ever using this Pokemon in the future. Next up, we got the goodest of boys. We got the best of boys. We got... Hisuian Growlithe. This is one of the first Hisuian forms they've revealed. Oh, actually, it is the first Hisuian form they revealed uh, for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. I definitely this puppet believe deserves to go to the top spot. Um, for me, honestly, what really sells it for me is just the red that they use. That that very very rich rich red they use, and I absolutely love it. And it's just, it's just a good boy. Just a good boy. Um, next up, we actually had a Pokemon at first when I saw the leaks. I did not like, I did not like Hisuian Arcanine, but after playing the games, I actually very much like him. I think for me what it was, it was the dark rock they used for his fur, but after playing the game, I actually very much like, I very much like him. I don't like him as much as I like Hisuian Growlithe, but I definitely do believe Hisuian Arcanine does deserve to be in the A tier, and he actually has a really cool move, as well as the starters, by the way. So if you guys have yet to play and are, are watching this video still, they get cool moves, so we'll play the games right now or else. Um, but otherwise, I think, uh, I do fully do think Hussein, uh, Orkanini, Orkanine deserves to be in the A tier. Moving on. Um, next on the list, we have another absolutely good boy. We got Hisuian Voltorb. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I I, I was so ecstatic when I saw uh, when I saw that his grand reveal. Um, this is this wooden Pokeball, and and just like Hisuian Growlithe, this boy deserves to be in the S tier because he is just round. He is happy, and he has a Unibro. Damn it! And if you don't appreciate that, then screw you. On the other hand, we have Hisuian Voltor, which honestly, 
and I mean this literally, Pokemon dropped the ball. The, where, where did, what did Voltorb's Unibrow go? I, I, I'm so confused, I'm so lost, I am so concerned. They just stuck a mouth onto Voltorb and they just, I don't like this form. I really don't. I, I, I don't know. I, I was really hoping that they would implement like a mustache onto Electrode with Unibrow. I saw some concept designs with, with them using that and I absolutely loved it. And they didn't implement it. And it really just broke my heart. If I'm being completely honest. And, and, and for that, you know, I'm actually gonna just make its own tier. Actually, how do I do that? If I do this? No, if I do this. And I do this. And I'm just gonna put uh, Electrode in its own tier because uh, this, this is what I truly, what I, for me, what I believe. Um, add row below. Oh, I guess um, we're doing this live, folks. This is really what I believe. Just. It just dropped the ball with Electrode. It's a it's, it's a big bop, if you will, if I'm if I'm allowed to make puns in this video. Next up, we got we got Cleaver, uh, Cleaver, which is the evolution Tricycler, which is the other Hisuian form they reviewed. I guess it's not really a Hisuian form; it's a Hisuian evolution. Um, which, by the way, it's another thing that again, they uh, they took a risk. They they did this in Sword and Shield, giving you know regional forms a unique evolution. That you know the 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 I guess the whole, the original form is like like Lanoon. You know, there's no obstacle for Hinuian Lanoon. It's just Lanoon. Um, you know, they gave Slicer an evolution that kind of was lost to evolution. If that makes sense. So, I clearly, I absolutely love it. Um, I I do love it, but in terms of like actual can use, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna put it in B tier. Um. I do like it very, very much, but I don't think it's on the level of the Sigui and Arcanini. If I'm going to be completely honest, um, I just, I just think it, it's a, it's a, it's a really cool Pokemon, but I don't think it's cool enough to, to join the squad that is uh, the Sigui and uh, Arcanini. Next up, we got, we got uh, a Pokemon that was leaked. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I saw all these forms on accident on Twitter like 10 days before the, the game came out, and I was so freaking pissed. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I saw I saw cool fish, and I honestly I I'm honestly I very much like cool fish. I've actually made a really cool thumbnail. Th that, that was my cue. Uh, I hit my mic. That was my cue to like put the thumbnail on the screen. Um, uh, with this regional form, though, I'm just like okay, yeah, you know, this definitely does exist. It's definitely a cool form, and but I honestly I just think it's sort of meh, honestly. Um, it's just you know it's just another regional form. It loses water type, which is honestly it's a little weird to me. It's that dark poison type. Um, but you know, I think overall it's just cool. Sure. On the other hand, um, I'm, sorry, I'm actually for, I'm actually blanking on his name. It is um, like many quill or something like that. Um, I, I'm actually putting this guy on the S tier, and, and and now it may be a little odd, and I think I have a trend of liking very weird looking Pokemon. But the reason why I like Overquill, that's his name, Overquill, is because it's, it's evolution method, and that is requires that you you get you get your Hisuian Quillfish and use a strong style, uh, like Poison Barrage or, or or like whatever his signature move is over and over and over again. And so the idea is that he uses so many times that he just stays stuck with his pin sticking out. And I absolutely love it. I think that's this really cool concept of her for an evolution. You know, just Kofi going, Oosh, Oosh, joke. I'm you now. So, very, very much loved it. So, Overquill is going to go to S tier. To me, because of the evolution method, I think it's really, really cool. Um, next up, we got Hisuian and Sneasel. I honestly think it's in the same boat as... Um, as uh, Coolfish, I just think it's cool. It's not really needed, in my opinion. There's nothing really unique or, or different they do about it. I appreciate the claws are like very venomous looking, you know, the poison going dripping down. But other than that, there's nothing really special going on here. So, for that, I'm actually gonna put Hisuian Sneasel on the S tier. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna put it in the B tier because I honestly, again, I just feel you know, no, 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 no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep keep it strong. Keep it in a C tier, and I'm also gonna put Sneasler in, in the C tier. I appreciate it. this man can carry me in a box throughout the entirety of the journey, but it's just Sneasel. And if he wasn't in the Lorax, like I really don't feel any strong opinions about it. Um, yeah, honestly, that, that evolution line is again 
I'm not saying me disliking it means it was a bad choice. I think that's actually a really good thing. That means they're trying different things when it comes to designs. And I appreciate that. So I'm, I'm not going to hate Pokemon for, for not appeasing me to every single original form. Because I don't think they should. And also, like, that sounds really, really self-centered to me. Also, I don't know why they could, would even consider me. Um, but anyways, moving on, we got Ursaluna. Ursaluna, who is the evolution to Ursa Ring. And I absolutely love this this this, this design. I'm, a, I'm I but I'm not gonna get myself too ahead. Um, I think it's on the same plane as uh, Cleveland, where I do appreciate it. I very much like it. Was not expecting it, um, but I'm just you know it's it's not all the way there for me if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier simply because I, I think it's a really solid addition to the line. Next up we got Rear Deer. And honestly, I, I honestly I'm gonna be repeating myself over and over again. I think it's a really cool addition. I really wasn't expecting it, and I really appreciate it. But I don't. Am, I'm not too crazy over it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put Weirdo in the B tier. Next up, we got Lilligant. I honestly don't know how I feel about Lilligant. I kind of forgot it even existed. I'm not, I'm not saying regular Lilligant. I'm just saying soon Lilligant because you beat it early on in the game, and then you just I didn't really use it because I had Rowlet, and. I kind of like that it's a ballerina, it's a very physical ballerina, but other than that, if you like, if you like it, I'm sorry, but, I, I, it just, honestly, though, you know, no, 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 you know, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll give it the respect that it deserves, it, it was RC's chosen ones, or whatever, I'll put it in the B tier, just know it's like, like, in between the B and the C, like, it's like, um, it's like the, uh, what it, what the, the DL, U, U, or whatever, I don't know, showdown stuff. Moving on, we got we got White Stripe Basculin, who is very freaking annoying to find in the games or catch in the game, rather. Um, I like him a lot. Um, honestly, though, I think he's just pretty solid overall. Um, I think we we'll put him in B tier with Lilligant, but I think he's higher above Lilligant. If that makes sense. Um, I just like his look. I like the White Stripes. I think it's kind of weird but cool at the same time that we get a new colored striped Basculin. I don't know. I think again, it's another risk that Nintendo took, freaking Star Game Freak took, and I really appreciate it. Uh, next up, we got Basket Legion, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm actually gonna put both forms in the A tier because I just think just giving Basket an, an evolution was insane, nonetheless. So giving this 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 mod, you know, an evolution is insane, and I absolutely love it. I very much like the idea of Basket Legion. I also love the evolution method. Again. It's something brand new, something different with the evolution method, and I appreciate that, you know, in terms of, like, you know, the future of Pokemon, so, it's also, you know, the evolution method also stands out, among other things, so, yeah. Moving on, we got Hisui and Zora, again, precious boy, sweet, sweet boy, 8 S tier, e easily, no questions asked about it. I also have a bunch of friends who have to love this, so I feel like I'd be doing them wrong or disservice or something, uh, for not putting Hisui in, uh... Rowlet, right there. I'm Rowlet. Uh, Zora. Next up, we got we, we got Hisuian um, Zora. I'm not gonna lie, because of personal issues that I won't go into, I'm not a big fan of like the red mark across his body. They remind me of burn marks, and I'm just I'm just I'm just not gonna get into it. Uh, so I'm gonna put in B tier just for that. But other than that, I very much like the idea behind Hisuian Zora and Zora. So very good, very very good designs. Next up, we got Hisuian um, Breviary. Um, uh, honestly, I, I don't know how to feel about it. I just think with like it, I just I, I I do like the idea of what it is, and I, I just I don't know. It was really weird, a really weird choice to make it a second type. Granted, they made Eggy a dragon type, so what 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 can I say? Um, but it's okay. I, I I mean I'm not I'm not crazy over it. I'm not, I'm not going ooh it's really breviary, but um I definitely do think it's a cool choice that they made. Next up, we got uh, Hisui and Avalog, and I actually very, very much love this Pokemon to death. Um, I just think it's really, really cool what they did with it, uh, making it an Ice Rock type Pokemon. I, I, I'm not going to say much to it in terms of storyline, but when, when, when he showed up, I, I shat myself. I really did. So I'm very much a big fan of Avalog. I'm just a big fan of Avalog in general. Just, you just don't see it that often. Um, I, yeah. Uh, next up, we got actually. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna save you all the time. I'm gonna save you all the time. Look, look. I love me some snails, and I love me some steel snails. And I love me the Slugu and Gujo line. So, so much. I love that they go inside the shells. I don't know, they, they, they go from like, uh, you know, is it, is it. So snails have the shells, 
the slugs. So they go from snails to slugs, and that's it's a weird evolution trait, but it's a really cool evolution trait. So absolutely love it. Actually, I have Sligo on the team. It's about to be a good dress soon. It has the level requirement. I just gotta evolve it or level up in the rain, and then soon, soon we shall have my Kutra in my shell. Uh, next up, we got an Amorous, which um, I have yet to encounter in the game. I don't even know if it's actually in. Inside the game? Obviously it's inside the game, but I don't know how to unlock it. Um, honestly, this guy looks really ugly. He looks like the guy from from from, uh, from uh, Powerpuff Girls. I, I mentioned the... Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Um, yeah, I, I'm just not too much. That's the incarnate form. But the theory form I actually very much like. I'm going to put it in the ATF because they just look really funny. Easy to do the turtle. He's a, my boy's a turtle now, and he's like floating around, and I actually love it. Um, next up, again, if, if, if you're now just getting into this part, and you're not looking at the rest of the Pokemon, spoilers ahead, um, you fight these alternate versions of the Dialga and Palkia. It was really weird, but in a good way. I'm gonna put Dialga, honestly, despite like it looking funky, I'm gonna put it in A tier. I just think it's a, it's a good funky, if that makes sense. On the other hand, we got Horse Palkia, like, where, 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 where did our arms go? Like, it's, it's, I just don't know, man. It just was weird. It was weird to see no arm Palkia. Like, like, Dialga's already on all fours, but the Force Palkia, I don't know. That sounds also wrong. Just force Palkia on all fours. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, because that is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And you guys also let me know what your favorite swinging form is. I'm realizing this is 17 minutes long, so hope you guys stick around and just didn't skip to the end. Anyways, you guys, this is uh, Surfer the Great, as you guys can see down below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.